Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about how to print stars in alphabetical V shape. So let's begin with the code. Okay so this is our output and here we can see stars in different row and column. So to print stars in different row and column we are using two for loop. One is to print stars in the row and another one is to print stars in the column. And here we can see four rows and seven columns. So here in our code we can see two for loop. It is the first for loop it is to print stars in the row. And here row is the variable name and we are using range function. And inside that we can see another for loop it is to print stars in the column and here call is the variable name. In the output here we can see 4 rows and 7 columns. So here I'll mention range as 4 rows and 7 columns. So here row is 4 and column is 7. So here range is from 0 to 4. So it will give output as 0, 1, 2, 3. And here range is from 0 to 7. That means it will give output as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That here we can see. This is the column and this is the row. Alright. Next here we can see if else conditional statement that is we want to print stars in some particular pattern for that we need condition. That's why we are using conditional statement. Right. And here after if keyword I need to mention the condition that is in which row and column you want to print star. Okay. So for that we'll see the output. Okay, to print stars in the alphabetical V shape, we'll divide our output into two parts. Okay, and this will be one part. And this is my second part. First, we'll see how to print stars in this part that is here, these four stars. Okay, so here we can see this star is in the place row 0 and column 0. And this star at row 1, column 1. This star at row 2, column 2. This star at row 3, column 3. Right? So when row is equal to equal to column, we want to print star. Okay? So my first condition will be, I'll check whether row is equal to equal to column. If it is true, then I want to print star at that place. So first condition will be, Okay, so here this is the comparison operator. So it will check whether row is equal to equal to column. If it is true, then we want to print star. All right. So this is my first condition. So if this condition becomes true, then I want to print star. So here we can see the print function inside the if body. And here we can see star. So it will print star at that position. And next here we can say end is equal to empty string. In the print function by default end value will be slash n. So if I didn't mention this here, I only mention this much. Then when row is equal to zero, column is equal to zero. First it will be row zero and column zero. So it will print this star. After that, Control goes to the next line. Okay. So this space will be printed here. And again control go to the next line. It will print stars in the single line. But here I want stars in this pattern. So here we need to mention end is equal to empty string. That is after printing star. I want to print next star or space immediately after this. Okay, so I used end is equal to empty string here. All right. So now we are done with these four stars. So if you want to see, you can save this and run this program. And here we can see these four stars. So now we are done with these four stars. Okay. So next, we need to concentrate on these three stars. So next, we want to print these three stars. 
so here we see the position of these stars this is at position row 0 column 6 this is at row 1 column 5 and this is at column 4 and row 2 so first place will be row 0 column 6 second is row 1 column 5 row 2 column 4 so here we can see in each time row value will be increased and column value is decreased that is initially row is 0 column is 6 after that column is decreased by 1 that is column 5 and here row is increased by 1 that is row is 1 row 1 column 5 we want to print star next column is decreased by 1 column 4 and row is 2 right at that time we want to print star so for this what we'll do is first we'll take two variables that is i and j and we'll initialize the initial row and column values that is 0 and 6 okay so first we need two variables so i'll give name as i and j and i contains initial row value that is 0 after that j it contains initial column value that is 6 so next what I'll do is after this I'll take elif that is else if and here I'll mention condition like this when row is equal to equal to i when row is equal to when row is equal to equal to i and column is equal to equal to j i want to print star and i value is 0 and 6 that means when row is equal to 0 and column is equal to 6 i want to print star that is when row is equal to 0 and column is equal to 6 i want to print star okay so here if it is true then i want to print star this string all right so now we are done with this star okay so if i save this and run this and here we can see this star and we are done with this star now we need two more star right so for that we need to decrease column value and increase i value or row value so here after this I'll increment i value by 1 and I'll decrement j value by 1 okay here we can see this is at position column 5 and row 1 and this is row 2 and column 4 okay so now we are done with these tasks now if both this condition become false then control goes to the else part and it will print space here other than the star in some places we want to print space also right like here right so to do that we wrote else part okay here print and space all right next inside the first for loop we are using print function it is for new line that is in this for loop that is because after printing stars in one row we want to go to the next line to print remaining stars that's why we used print function here that is here we can see after printing stars in this row we want to go to the next line to print remaining star after printing this star i want to go to the next line okay so after each row we want new line that's why we use this print function here okay so now we are done with the code so we need to save this and run this and here we can see stars in alphabetical v shape all right okay so that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll meet in next class till then take care